Hello, you boys and girls. My name is Hatsuzi, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. We are back. Uh, last time, we fixed the issue with science production, namely for the military science, um, and also made sure that all the other science production are equally as outfitted as the fix we did for uh, for military science so today we can focus our attention on how to get around to defining a goal how many science pack we want to produce per second and then for the rest of this series we can um, work towards that goal. Uh, as I see on this train, we probably have some schedules messed up. Yes, because we have two science trains that deliver the packs. The fueling station should go after the after the delivery because otherwise the trains will just sit at the at the refueling station until the delivery station here at the labs is um, is done so let's make sure that's true for all of these Let's move that down. That's just a reordering. And here. Hmm. I think space science, we only have one train. That might not be enough. Because we want to have two trains for every science pack so let's just and then copy copy all right now we truly have um, Two trains delivering every variant of uh, science that we produce. So let's actually have a look at what we have here. Um, maybe let's turn this up for the hour. And on the production side, you can see all the signs are overlapping because with the with the signs we are now doing, we are using all science packs and we require them in equal amount so that's that's good um, and we can see um, we are using about one and a half packs per second and if we want to produce high amounts of sound packs, we also have to make sure uh, that we can consume them because otherwise they will just stack up and eventually everything is, is backfilled. Actually, that's the case for, for most signs. Here backfilled, there backfilled, there backfilled. Um, they're not backfilled because this was the station that was problematic but here we have enough so if we are producing faster than we are consuming uh, eventually uh, we will run into into this situation and I think the, the issue here is 
this lab is not really good for throughput. Uh, you can see we have a ton of labs, but only a few uh, have the necessary science packs in them uh, because we just can't pass the science pack uh, through fast enough. And probably we need to think about a better way how to how to do that because one of the bottlenecks for sure is um, the unloading with the long-handed inserter can only move three packs uh, at a time and um, we do have quite a bit of, uh, of uh, research speed so the unloading is not fast enough to supply all our uh, labs even if it's looking cool with, uh, with them blinking in the way they do. Um, but looking back here um, we can see we are not producing all science packs in an equal amount and that's basically due to the fact that some are backlogged. So if we can see uh, the, the highest is the military science packs where we actually need a bit more production and then um, one of the, the lowest here is, is actually green science uh, and green science is not that complicated. You can see here we are backlogged, here we are backlogged, here we are not. And um, why are they standing at the refueling station? destination full you want to go to yellow belt loading why is yellow belt loading full because we have not enough materials I only have one train delivering here so maybe here we would need a second train one moment one moment For yellow belts, we need iron plates and iron gear. This one picks up iron gear. Iron plates. Why do we have waiting for iron stick loading in here? Waiting gear loading, now that makes sense. Um, and after it's loaded up with, uh, with gears, it should then come around for the belts. And maybe we need a second belt train mm. 
waiting for belters all the way down there. Not ideal, but it's just a bit of a wait the train has to make. Yeah, switching over to the middle lane so we can go through the roundabout and up and around. This system works out nicely. see the problem there we try to unload coal uh, when we should unload gears uh, no wonder we are producing no uh, uh, no um, yellow belts even though we are not using belts in our base we're only using them for the research so that's probably an issue for quite a while so you can see we uh we probably had quite a bit of green signs uh stacked up um in order to only notice this uh at this point yeah so Let's switch that to gears. That should help with the uh, the unloading. And then let's add a second train here for the delivery. As we have two platforms for delivery, two trains. Um, do not uh, stand in in competition with each other for the train platforms um, well that could happen if uh, only one platform is available uh, due to uh, due to uh, the fact that that chess are full so Train, wagon, train, and then um, the one um, oh, we want to start there so loading materials and then move on so Probably we have to come up with a with a better layout um, to deliver the, the science pack to get uh, faster research uh, by by using all the labs that we have um, uh, and especially a way to distribute the science pack to all the labs that that need them. And this approach will s just to squeeze everything in in uh, in the small uh, squares that we had once upon a time. But if we say we have these large squares, then we probably have a bit more leeway uh, with with how 
to load and uh, unload thing layout things um, that we can do uh, one other thing because I think uh, trying to figure out a better design that's a project all on its own another thing that might be a bit worrying here is our space suns because that needs quite a bit of uh, of ingredients and um, we seem to be lacking uh, low density structures one is waiting at low density structures and by the looks of it hmm. this one is full this is empty this is empty ah, here we are actually in the situation where Why is this station not active? Ah. We are missing some cables! We have this hooked up, this hooked up, this hooked up. And that's about 900. But we have not connected the other side. And then suddenly a train can arrive. Um, um, okay. Hundred, hundred, hundred. to go probably to here and then we can can set the, the train properly the wagon wagon filters are you coming You're coming. Doing it this way is a bit difficult. easier if you have materials there uh, here there and there 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 there, there. this way we can ensure that we have the room to load the, the necessary uh, ingredients. It also would be would be nice um, to have um, the so 
you have the space. Hundred, yeah. So and two hundred of those. That's one hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other slots we can we can leave open. This one at the field as well. Here the one for those. And that should help. And that's some problems, some more problems sorted out. Uh, but time is already progressed. So I think we need to, uh, to uh, postpone any more problems for the next episode uh, where I really want to think about coming up with a, with a better solution for our research hub. Hope you enjoyed this episode and join me next time when we think about research once again. Until then, goodbye!